Hey, welcome back. I'm Kevin McNulty. New year, more high school basketball. We'll start with the Marquette boys team down in Delta County tonight to take on Escanaba. We'll pick things up late in the third quarter, all tied up at 43. Coming off an Escanaba miss, the big man for Marquette, Jacob McPhee, hits Henry Wood on the fast break for two. Marquette leads 45-43. Into the fourth now, Eskimos trying to hang close. Shane Wallen with the handoff to David Romps. His turnaround jumper falls. Marquette still up by five. More Esky de this time. Defense into offense. Wallen gets the clean steal coast to coast for two. And the Marquette lead is down to three. Later in the fourth, Jackson Jermu drives. Layup no good, but McPhee cleans it up. He had 22 points tonight, and Marquette is back up by six. Eskimos trying the inside game late, but shots not falling. Marquette quickly the other way. Kyler Sager, he'll lay it in, plus the foul. He had 21, and Marquette holds off Escanaba 63-56. And just up the road, Gladstone hosting Iron Mountain on the hardwood. Mountaineers rolling early. Jared Sample Torres to Ian Martela. On the give and go and good effort from Nick Matthews, but that's goaltending. I am leads by three. Mountaineers again, Oscar Kangas with the strong finish. Iron Mountain up 12 to 11. Braves now on a run of their own. Caden Gibbs gets to the rim and the floater falls. Braves still trail by seven. Now a lot of unselfish play tonight from the Mountaineers. This time Sam Torres finds Martela for three, bang. That'll make it 25 to 13. On the other end, Gibbs to Luke Brackett. For the mid-range jumper, that one will fall, but Iron Mountain still leads by nine. The Mountaineers, too much tonight. They go on to pick up the road win, 54-41. To the boys' basketball scoreboard now, a couple games in the Copper Country. Hancock is victorious over Lance, 62-27, and I believe this is our first triple-digit final of the season. Houghton wins big over West Iron County. Also a good one in Norway tonight. The Knights take down North Central, 57-52. Let's flip it over to girls' hoops now. Westwood welcoming the Gladstone girls to town tonight. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Lexi Olson dishes to Megan Marta on the elbow, and she'll pull up and sink it to give the Patriots an 18-point lead. Later in the second, Olson facilitating again. She sends it underneath to Michaela Fisher, who goes up for the layup. It falls, and Westwood extends the lead. Moving to the second half, Braves trailing by 23, but Tia Schoen will cut into that deficit. Nice move by the junior to find the bottom of the cup. But it was Olsen's night out there. Jab on the wing, and all the way to the hole for the and one. She finished with a game-high 16 points, and the Patriots go on to win this one 51-26. Elsewhere in girls basketball tonight, Bark River Harris outpaces Manistique 61-29, and Carney Nato dispatches Norway 58-44. Forest Park wins a close one over Superior Central, 39-32 your final, and Munising Tellies an 11-point win over Gwynn, 49-38. Houghton also victorious over Iron Mountain tonight, 55-47 the final score there, while Lance wins 50-33 tonight over North Dickinson. Wrapping up here with Kingsford and West Iron County, the Wycons win that one 42-28, and finally Calumet takes down Ontonagon by a score of 55-32.